As shared by Max Defense Philippines which is a credible source, the Brazilian defense page Tecnologia and Defesa said that the German export ban that held the delivery of Iveco Latam Guarani 6x6 wheeled armored personnel carriers for our Philippine army was directed to the Philippines itself and not in Brazil. In an interview with CNN Brazil, Brazilian Defense Min. Jose Muccio Montero confirmed that the German export ban was aimed at the Philippines, said the sale did not happen because of the problem between the Germans and the Filipinos. The German issue of the violation of human rights aimed at the leadership of the former President Rodrigo Duterte, but it developed and changed human rights during the term of our current President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Although clean in the Philippines, this is not a good sign especially for the purchase of systems and other weapons that the German government may think can be used to commit human rights violations, in globalization, it is now difficult to avoid the German elements even if the system itself was built elsewhere, this time from Brazil, this is one of the things that we worry about if the Philippines is again under leadership like former President Duterte. This is a big setback not only in defense but also for many other reasons especially when the Philippines is trying to get support from its international partners. If you remember the Philippine Army acquired armored personnel carrier to improve the mobility of the Philippine Army's mechanized infantry division, as well as introduce a new model to complement and eventually replace the aging asset. The Philippine Army has submitted a request for the acquisition of a new fleet of wheeled armored personnel carriers to the Department of National Defense this request is included in the Horizon 2 phase priority projects of the revised AFP modernization program is simply the wheeled armored personnel carrier acquisition project of the Philippine Army it was originally planned to be an upgrade program for the Philippine Army's current fleet of Cadillac Gauge V-150 Commando and GKN Simba 4x4 wheeled armored vehicles. The plan was later changed to the acquisition of modern armored personnel carriers. The Philippine Army has seen the need for more wheeled armored personnel carriers or APC to be assigned with the mechanized component of its newly formed 1st Brigade Combat Team. It is expected that the selected model will also be carried for the next follow-on order to equip the 2nd and 3rd Brigade Combat Teams that also comprise the Philippine Army for external defense. Based on DND documents on the Horizon 2 phase proposal submitted in 2017, the Philippine Army originally requested 114 units of new wheeled APCs, in addition to upgrading the current fleet of Simba and V-150 Commando 4x4 armored vehicles. In the end, the approved funding for only 28 units approved by former President Duterte on June 2018 The main requirements for the wheeled APC are for it to be a 6x6 platform, this is to compensate for the lack of sufficient space found in 4x4 platforms such as the current Cadillac Gauge V-150 Commando and GKN Simba wheeled armored vehicles. A 6x6 is also not too long compared to 8x8 platforms, because the Philippine Army learned the lessons from the Battle of Marawi where vehicles should be of a practical size to move easily in tight spaces especially already. That of urban warfare, the concept of this vehicle is used that the Philippine Army can reserve larger 8x8 or wheeled personnel carriers as a heavy weapon platform, as seen in the decision to include the 8x8 tank destroyer armed with 105mm gun to them light. Tank acquisition project. Nothing for vehicles to be amphibious capable, although it is an added advantage if the vehicle selected is inherently that capable. For weapon systems, it is said that the Philippine Army prefers to have a manned turret armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun and a 40mm automatic grenade launcher, in addition to a smoke grenade launcher. The reason is said to have something to do with the budget, but also because of the lessons again from the Battle of Marawi. Because the remote-controlled weapon system has some disadvantages especially in urban fighting against enemy snipers, this requirement is negotiable although an RCWS mount is expected to be more expensive due to the technology involved. 28 units to equip two mechanized infantry companies are needed, although this is also tied to the budget because the Philippine Army wants more. Originally, the Philippine Army's request for Horizon 2 was for 114 wheeled APCs, but while this is being discussed, the Battle of Marawi started in 2017 where the Philippine Army made an emergency request for 28 wheeled APCs. With the approval of Horizon 2 phase in 2018 which was only a fraction of the budget compared to the original request submitted by the armed forces of the Philippines in 2017, the wheeled APC was included in the necessary cuts, 
with the Philippine Army joining according to the purchase of only 28 units due to lack of funds. This project was won by Elbit System and C4I who were assigned to build 28 units of Iveco Guarani 6x6 armored personnel carriers for the Philippine Army. The project that it has a value of 2.2 billion pesos because this other APC system was made in Germany and Germany did not agree with former President Duterte's policy in the Philippines, especially the use of human rights, so it will appear in the delay in when armored personnel carriers were delivered to the Philippines, and when our current President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. was seated. The operation in the Philippines has changed, especially in human affairs, Brazil has announced that Germany has lifted the export ban on the APCs ordered by the Philippines and that Brazil is ready to deliver the APCs and will wait for us to know about it.